This is Code.org, Computer Science Discoveries, or CS Discoveries, Unit 2, which is Web Development, and, um, well, we're on Lesson 6, which is Lists, and then Level 3, which is named Lists. Let's see what we're working on here. Ordered List. This page should include an ordered list, but it's missing the list tags. Okay, let's see. Do this. Use the OL and LI tags to structure this content into an ordered list that looks like the one below. Which one below? Oh, this one below. Um, hint, there are no numbers in your code. There are no numbers in your code. What about H2? Oh, I think what it means. Okay, so that's confusing. No numbers in my code. Um, what it means is that it doesn't want us, so an ordered list should have numbers. It should look like this. It doesn't want us to do this. One, two, right? So that doesn't count. It wants us to type in the HTML code, the markup language code, uh, that produces an ordered list. What are the two types of lists? There are two types of lists, ordered and unordered. Um, what is an ordered list? An ordered list element has the tag OL and is an abbreviation of ordered list. Each item in that list is marked with LI for list item, and then it needs to be closed as well. That makes sense. How do I make an ordered list? Uh-huh. Uh, we kind of were talking about this. You start with OL, you put LI around all of your list elements, and then you end with a closing OL tag. And then if you want to see working code, that's right here. So OL for ordered list, LI for each line that you want on your list, right? So list item one, list item two, list item three, and then the end of the list. So let's use that as our guide. It looks like this being H2, that's going to be the heading. So that won't actually be part of the list. So let's start our ordered list here. Now, from what I can tell, yes, they are good listeners is the last thing on the list. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And after they are good listeners, I'm going to close my list because that, should, well, should be the end of the list. Oops, I added a line. Now, what is going to be on the list? Well, everything between OL and slash ol right they are cute that should be on my list so what i need to do there is add the tag li which stands for list item this will be a item on my list and then i need to end that tag at the end of the item at the end of that line great and it should refresh over here you see how that has a one next to it now if it doesn't make sure to hit refresh and save our next item they are easy to take care of they are easy to take care of we need it to have a two so if we want to add that to our list, we put li in front of it. And then after the period, we do slash li and ta-da, look at that. And again, if it doesn't show, refresh and save should make it work. Let's add this to our list, li, and then at the end of it, li, and that should be, yep, three, right? Three, they don't bite or scratch, they don't bite or scratch. Four, they will eat all your leftovers. So this is going to be our part four. So LI for list item in front of it. And then let's close it at the end with LI for list item. Now, finally, they are good listeners. They are good listeners. Boom. And boom. That looks great. Now, let's say I sometimes forget to close a tag like this. So I'm going to delete that. And if I do... Or maybe I even forgot an entry tag, right? So maybe I even forgot something here. When you make a mistake in code, notice it goes pink down here. So this is saying, hey, something above me is wrong. So if I add back the ending tag, and look, it's still pink because there's something messed up here, then it will go back to how it should be. So if you see some pink, double check and make sure you have this. If yours doesn't show like mine, hit refresh and save and make sure you've written the code in this way. And I think we have mission accomplished. So we can go ahead and continue onward.